Coal-fired power generation is the single largest source of CO2 emissions worldwide. That's why many countries are currently discussing how to politically organize the retirement of coal-fired power plants. One of these countries is Germany, which is among the top 10 coal-burning countries in the world. Due to its commitment to the Paris Climate Agreement, the German government has mandated an expert commission to come up with a roadmap for a phase-out of coal. At the beginning of this year, this coal commission has recommended to phase out coal by 2038. On the one hand, the recommendations by the coal commission have been praised as a reasonable compromise between climate change mitigation, short-term economic considerations and public acceptance. But on the other, there's also been a lot of criticism, including by members of the Coal Commission itself, that the plan to decommission the last plants only 20 years from now is not ambitious enough, given the urgency of taking bold measures to mitigate climate change. Professor Rolf Wüstnang and I were interested in what voters think about this issue. From a normative point of view, it's an important question because such a far-reaching decision that affects the well-being of current and future generations um, should also be decided upon what voters uh, think about this issue. Prior research on voters' preferences in climate and energy policy shows that a majority of voters wants a transition to clean renewable energies. This result holds for a variety of countries and contexts. However, while there is a lot of research on the public acceptance of renewable energies and the energy transition more broadly, many countries now face the task of getting rid of the old carbon-intensive infrastructures and technologies. In our study, we were specifically interested in finding out whether the recommendation to phase out coal by 2038 uh, is in line with voters' preferences or whether voters would prefer an earlier phase-out than recommended by the Coal Commission. We asked around 2,000 Germans who are eligible to vote about their preferences for a coal phase-out. And in addition, we asked around 1,000 people living in the main German coal regions, which are the Rhineland in Western Germany and Lusatia in Eastern Germany, about their preferences. Methodologically, our study is based on a choice experiment. This means that the participants were exposed to a number of policy packages on a phase out of coal and were asked to rate them on a scale from very poor to very good. These different policy packages consisted of a variety of dimensions that play a role in phasing out coal, such as the cost, effects on employment or the timeline. One of the benefits of using choice experiments is that potential trade-offs that can affect political preferences are explicitly incorporated in the different scenarios. So for instance, in simpler surveys, uh, participants might be asked whether their preference is a coal phase out by 2030 or by 2040, without being made aware of the cost a coal phase out entails. In our study, the timeline was always part of a broader political package that also included the cost of a phase out or employment effects. And the results of people's ratings of all these different policy packages now tells us uh, how a phase-out that generates high levels of public support needs to look like and how important the specific dimensions of a phase-out are. The most important result of our study is that German voters would actually prefer to phase-out coal sooner than recommended by the Coal Commission. So in our study, uh, the scenario that generated the highest level of public support was one where coal is already phased out by 2025. Our study also sheds light on the preferences of people living in the German main coal regions. So also in Rhineland and in Lusatia, people are in favor of an earlier phase out than recommended by the Coal Commission. However, people with strong social ties to the coal industry, for instance those that work uh, in the mining sector, they do not share this preference. Our study investigates voters' preferences with regard to a phase-out of coal in Germany, but it does not explain how political decisions are ultimately made. Public acceptance is certainly one important factor in this regard, but ultimately there are many actors that influence policy making, such as a variety of stakeholders, and future research should try to investigate how political decisions are also contingent on their activities. 
This is exactly the aim of the new Cold Stake project, which is a collaborative effort of the universities of Basel and St. Gallen in Switzerland and Toronto in Canada. This project is funded by the Swiss Network for International Studies and it looks at the political economy of coal phase-outs.